Summiting Mount Everest is among the hardest feats in the world. Only about 4,500 people have successfully summited. And it is believed only eight of those climbers were black. Well, a group of all black climbers are now looking to change history. Denver 7's Gary Broad introduces us to two Coloradans planning to be on that expedition next year. If we can go, we can do these things, we can show it's possible, it's, it's going to change things. Eddie Taylor is months away from embarking on the most difficult journey of his life. What's at stake goes beyond the accomplishment of summiting Everest. There's a lot of things in the outdoors that I think, again, black people don't see it as a place they could be. Everyone doesn't see it as a place that black people should be. The chemistry teacher and track coach in Lafayette is joining eight others to climb Mount Everest in the spring. Each member of the expedition is black. Philip Henderson from Cortez is leading the way. There's just a lack of representation, you know, in the outdoors amongst especially black people. And I just happen to be one of very few people who have worked in the outdoor industry for a long time. Henderson climbed Everest nearly a decade ago, but never made it to the summit. It's a feat very few people of color have achieved. In fact, while more than 10,000 people have made it to the top, fewer than a dozen have been black. Never has a black American man reached the peak. Henderson looks at this as a way to open doors. So I think it's very important for us to be um, to be visible, you know, and if we're not visible, then younger people don't even see it as an option to do the, some of the things that we do. And that could mean going for a hike in a park or climbing a Mount Everest and anything in between that. If the group makes it, they'll be the largest all black expedition to conquer Everest. But history doesn't come without its detractors. Many who saw Denver 7's initial Facebook post about this all black climbing attempt called it divisive, even racist in its exclusion of others. It's not stopping Henderson and the group from moving forward. I don't worry about that stuff. People are always going to think what they think. And until they actually sit down with us, sit down with me and have a conversation, then maybe they can, you know, kind of get the picture. But, you know, those people are always going to be there and I'm not, I don't waste my time on them, to be honest about it. Taylor believes the group breaks the mold that's been followed for centuries. When I leave Boulder, it's, hey, what are you here for? Are you here for this diversity initiative? Um, is that why you're here? Have you been climbing? You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of a weird dynamic. And I think through this, this Ever Everest expedition, it's kind of not only showing like people of color that this is something possible, but it's kind of just showing everyone that, okay, well, it is possible. For, like black people enjoy climbing, black people enjoy outdoors. They enjoy the same things that everyone else gets from that. The historic climb should be complete in May. Gary Brode. Denver 7. We wish that group all the best. The team's raising money for their planned summit of Everest. They're hoping to secure $50,000 by Friday. Right now, they're a little more than halfway there. And if you'd like to chip in, we have a link to their GoFundMe page on the DenverChannel.com.